What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Saw 11 in this video here again today. So this video, primarily the biggest thing we'll be talking about is who is writing Saw 11 because that's actually been revealed in the comments of a post I made. Thanks to viewer Anon. Shout out to you. Now, this is also a confirmation on our suspicions related to who were writing Saw 11. So for those who know, you already know without me even saying their names. But before I go any further, let's recap everything we know about Saw 11 while also addressing some of the things that have been going on behind the scenes per pertaining to Saw 11 thanks to Insider Saw Space, who has been very reliable when it comes down to all things Saw in the past. So we know Kevin Grudert is returning to direct, who directed Saw X. I believe he's directed two others in the past, including the including Saw 6. So we found that out today thanks to Bloody Disgusting earlier this morning. The story is expected to continue on from Saw X, but we don't know how exactly. And Insider Saw Space has shared a timeline of things leading up to Saw 11, or at least this is how current plans related to the movie and what's been happening with it for those that think this is going to be rushed. So this is the current timetable for things that could be happening when it pertains to promo and the ultimate lead up to the release. So the trailer should be out by July. July is the plan. The script took four months from October to January. Shooting will be for six weeks from March through April. Post-production and special effects usually take three months, as they pointed out here. Promo ramps up with steals, posters, trailers, July through September, and then the release is September 27th. So then, with all of that in mind, that just leaves us with, who are these writers that were working on this screenplay from October to January? Well, as many of us speculated, and as I pointed out, keep in mind, these two have been involved with the franchise in the past, and they were apparently, according to another insider who's been writing the past, Vink360 over on the Saw subreddit, they apparently were tasked with writing together a TV show that is also set in between Saw and Saw 3. And I'm starting to wonder, does any of that material for the TV show that's not happening, is this what's being condensed into a movie? These writers, again, are Patrick Melton and Marcus Dunstan. They are back into the swing of things. The dream team behind Saw 6 is back together once again, because I believe Patrick and Marcus wrote Saw 6, and then Kevin directed Saw 6, and Saw 6 is, again, arguably considered one of the better entries in the Saw franchise. It's a favorite amongst many fans of the franchise. I cannot wait to see what Patrick and Mark Marcus have come up with, what they have cooked up. Can't wait to see them reunited with Kevin Grudert, who did an amazing, fantastic job directing Saw X. Again, Saw X did something that Jigsaw and Spiral were unable to do, and that is they successfully, successfully revived the Saw franchise to the point where now we're getting another film not only less than a year after the last one dropped because didn't saw x come out in october i could be mistaken but we're getting it in a year less than a year of release of the last film which we haven't seen or at least i haven't seen anything like this since i was a little boy and i'm very excited about it um but what do you guys think about all of this? For those people who thought that it was rushed, it doesn't sound rushed at all with the knowledge that the script was being written from October to January. So they were already in the works on Saw 11, even during the build up to the release of Saw X, which is very smart. We've seen this happen with movies like Scream 5 to Scream 6. Scream, Scream 6 had an office registered in Canada before Scream 5 even dropped, which let us know that they were already creatively planning on what to do next because it was anticipated that Scream 5 would be a success, which it ended up doing. Scream 6 had a quick turnaround. It shot that same year, got released the following year. Same thing's happening with Saw 11. It's not that hard to see that this is going to be a successful film once again if everything has been planned accordingly and it's not rushed. This does not sound rushed at all. This sounds like a team of people who knew what they wanted to do next. They made sure it was written. Once they got the green light, now they're going forward with the creative plans. Very smart decision making to have a screenplay that's been worked on from October to January, taking four months to complete. And now it's gonna to get to shoot next month in March. Again, the alleged filming location is Canada. Don't 100% know that to be true, but how do you guys feel about the biggest bombshell in this video, which again is that the dream team behind Saw 6 are reuniting. Patrick, 
Marcus, and Kevin. Back in the thick of things all together. Let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. What do you hope to see from Saw 11? Do you want to see a Hoffman-centered story? For some reason, people want to see a Hoffman-centered story. I would much rather just see what the hell is going on with Cecilia. If that happens to come into the form of a Hoffman-centered story, then so be it. I just want a competent made Saw film again. That's all I want, just like Saw X. Not to say that it'll end up being better than Saw X. I do have my doubts that this will end up being better than Saw X, but we'll see. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, and let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And hopefully, the trailer can release in July, like Saw Space is saying their plans are. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.